Hi everyone, in this section we will gonna discuss about Linux commands in shell scripting. Before discussing that, so let's see what is Linux, architecture of Linux, and file system in Linux. What is Linux? The computer program that allocates the system resources and coordinate all the details of computer internals is called as operating system or the kernel. So Linux is also one of the operating system. It's a set of programs that act as a link between the computer and the user. And user can communicate through the kernel uh, by using a program called as uh, shell. So the shell is command line interpreter. It translates the command entered by the user and converts them into the language that understood by the kernel. And several people can log in at the same time to the Linux computer. So hence it is called as multi-user system. And the logged in users can run a couple of programs or a couple of pro processes. So hence it is also called as multitasking environment. And now let's see Linux architecture. So Linux architecture has a couple of, uh, couple of uh, components like kernel, shell, command utilities, and file uh, system. So the first one is kernel. The kernel is out of operating system. It interacts with the hardware and most of the tasks like memory management, task scheduling, file management will be handled by it. And we have shell. So the shell is utility that processes your request. So when you type in a command, at your terminal, the shell interrupts the command and calls the program that you want. And there are a couple of shells like C shell, B shell, K shell, are the most famous shells which are available with the most of Linux and Unix variants. And next we have commands and utilities. There are various commands and utilities which you can make use in your day-to-day -day activities. And over 250 commands and uh, so th there are many third party utilities that are available in, in Linux that you can use it in your day to day activities. And the next one is file system, files and directories. All the data in Linux organized into files and all the files are then organized into directories. And these directories are further organized into a tree like structure which is called as a file system. Uh, file system in Linux has some um, couple of folders. The, the parent folder or a major folder is root. Under that we have a couple of folders like bin, etc, user, var. So these kind of folders are there. So I'm going to give a brief introduction uh, about uh, like a few of the folders. The first one is bin. Uh, commonly uh, used commands like uh, who, ls, all these commands will be under uh, slash bin. And under slash dev directory, so we have uh, device files. So wherein like uh, the uh, files related to hardware devices will be present here. And we have uh, etc folder. So this folder contains utilities mostly used by system administrators like PWD, CH mode, CH own. So those kind of utilities will be present under slash etc. And we have folder uh, TMP. So this, this is used by uh, Unix or uh, Linux utility like uh, uh, VI or uh, to store uh, temporary files. And user can also use uh, this file to store uh, these files temporarily and then copy it onto other uh, folders. You can use this particular fold as a temporary directory. And then uh, next one is um, a user directory. Contains all the files created by the user, including a login directory. And then we have var folder. Typically this contains the variable uh, length files such as log files or print files. And any other types uh, type of files that may contain a variable amount of data will be present under this. So these are the folders that I wanted to discuss. So that's it for the uh, that's it for the video. So in the next lecture, so I'll gonna discuss about uh, Linux commands.